Hello oh guys, it's got to that time of the day. I don't know what it was this morning. Um, I had a lot of sleep. I had like, I think nine hours sleep this morning, but I went to bed really early in the morning. I went to bed at like two o'clock, so I just couldn't get to sleep. I was doing a load of revision. Uh, looking at questions, answers, uh, revising the three questions I can ask you before the test, and just getting a little insight into how the test goes, which was good because I had a little bit of butterflies last night and it calmed them and kind of put me in that test environment um, while I was watching them, which is pretty cool. And it was nice to see what might happen. Uh, my, my circumstances, my experience might be different to the person in that video that's explaining the test. But uh, it's always nice to see what the test might be like. So it's kind of giving me a little thought process to pick out what could happen. But uh, I'm excited, I'm ready. He's gonna be picking me up in 15 minutes and uh, you guys are probably thinking, how is he so so confident, how is he so calm? But um, I feel as though if, if, you, if you can go into a test feeling like you're ready to do that test and you're confident to do that test, you're gonna pass or you're gonna at least feel confident before you do it. And I am, I'm confident. I know I can drive, um, I've been confident in my lessons for the last couple of months. I think I can do it, I think I can do it. I'm not cocky, I'm confident, there's a difference. I'm not saying I'm gonna pass, I'm gonna pass, it's gonna be so easy. I'm saying that I'm confident, I feel as though I can pass. And hopefully I can, it's now half past 12, he's gonna be picking me up at quarter to one. We'll be doing like a 45 minute lesson, and then he'll be taking me to the test centre to do my test. So. I guess this is the, the final clip before we go on my test. So uh, yeah, I don't know, there's no need to wish me luck in the comments because you're watching this now and I've done my test yesterday. So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm going. Let's see if we can do this. Hello guys, I've been home for like three hours um, and I completely forgot to actually tell you how my test went and the guy next to me that was going out after me um, actually failed his test before he even went out because his instructor didn't check all his tyres before he went to the test centre and one of the guy's tyres had a big nail in the side of it um, which obviously that's one of the actual questions they ask you before the test or can ask you is how do you know that your tyres are safe to drive on? You should have no cuts and bulges, there shouldn't be any nails or glass in the tyres and um, the fact that the kid had a big chunky ass nail in the tyre before the test even started it was like an instant fail so that kid didn't even do the test that day. Yeah, I went out um, this morning was terrible because I went out beforehand as like a little warm up to the test and I was just doing everything wrong. Coming up to junctions, braking really sharp, my gear changing was terrible and I got a really cool instructor, a really cool examiner and uh, I felt good. I got in the car, the instructor made everything nice and calm. I felt really calm in the car and the test actually went a lot quicker. Uh, than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to like drag out and I'd constantly be looking at the clock when it was going to finish but I went out there, boom, come back and I, I, I done it. And I passed guys, I passed, I passed. Passed my driving test. I can't believe it Peppa, we're going to celebrate, we're going to celebrate. I can't believe it guys. Um, all this time that I've been doing these lessons has boiled down to today. And I went out there and absolutely smashed the test. And we had three minors. I felt really comfortable in front of the examiner. Nothing to worry about, nothing to stress about. I wasn't really nervous going into the test, which helped a lot, I think. But I passed, guys. I passed. For you guys, this is exciting because I think these vlogs are going to be a lot more exciting now if I can get myself a car and go out places and just see other people. And I have to rely on everyone else driving me around everywhere. I think we got some exciting times ahead, guys. So I've been thinking recently about this camera I've got right now, my vlogging camera. It's a digital camera, Canon S120. A really nice camera, actually. It's really expensive as well. Um, but I've noticed all the digital cameras I've had for vlogging, and off and on I've been vlogging for about three years now, and I've gone through quite a few of these digital cameras, and I find that the focus always goes on them. The motor dies on it, you hear clicking, which is the main thing about my videos and why I put a lot of music in the background of my vlogs is because the focus always clicks. And you're doing 
to focus in on me. And in thinking recently, should I just start vlogging with my GoPro? Unfortunately, the GoPro doesn't have image stabilization. So as you can see, I vlog with my hand and it's really smooth. It's not shaking about all over the place. With this, it's super, super shaky and you've got to have something to kind of keep it there. I think I'm going to get myself a three axis gimbal, which is something that keeps GoPro footage really, really smooth. So I could be walking around this as if the, the GoPro's floating. So I might start doing full-time GoPro vlogs from now on if I can get my hands on this gimbal. That means I just have to take a bag out with all my GoPro gear and just vlog. Don't have to worry about anything. Just go grab a load of GoPro accessories and get on my way. What do you guys think? Should we switch over 100% of the GoPro? Have to be honest with you guys. It's a nice one tonight. Look at that. Luckily, I got my GoPro set up, so let's go and see how that turned out. No! I've got my first bite of the summer. Uh, it's so painful. Look at the fucking colour of my hands compared to my legs. Until I walk around in joggers all day. Look at that. <laughs> you know the worst part of wearing this Vivo fit all day? Obviously, on your hands, 24 hours of the day. Look at that. That's just. <laughs> that's just not even funny. What even is that? What? That, like, I thought that was bad. But that is just. That's just bad. That's bad. Look at the difference between my arm colours. I've got like three different colours going on. I think that's me done for tonight, guys. My sleeping pattern recently has been terrible. I passed my driving test. I don't need to worry about driving no more. I don't need to worry about lessons. Revision is done. I passed. Yes. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. My dad's been telling me all day. I'm so proud of you. He said I didn't know how I was scared today. I didn't know I was going to go. I'm just so proud that you done it. He was the first person that came to see me. We pulled up outside my house and he like ran out so he came and shook my hand and said he was proud. So I'm glad. I'm glad. Not only am I proud of myself for passing, but Everyone else say I've had text messages, phone calls, everything um, saying that people are proud of me and they're happy that I passed and everything. So the world is my oyster now. Let me go out there, jump and get a car, sort of last stuff out. And like I said, hopefully this not only means things in my life that are better, but also hopefully we can make the vlogs a lot more fun, go different places and stuff like that because I feel like this house is my oyster because I don't have a car. But I'm gonna have a car soon hopefully and the world will be my oyster. So I passed guys. We did it. If you enjoyed the video, let me see the thumbs up. If you need to hit that subscribe button, I'll speak to you guys later. Peace!